Hello, welcome back to the MF Woodshop. Uh, today I'm going to be building the back slats for the rocking chair. Um, I'm cutting the rough profile out on the bandsaw and to get the shape of that I actually off camera I built or I made a stick that followed the contour of the back slat. So I used that to trace on the uh, stick of wood that you see me cutting here and cutting out the profile of that stick. Now I was able to get two stick or two slats out of a uh, single thickness piece of wood, so uh, save some lumber there. Um, the profile is pretty, pretty slight, but just enough to uh, uh, merit the bandsaw. You can kind of see the shape there of what I'm looking for. So again, back to the rigid sander, there is a lot of sanding here. Um, and the sander has been a real workhorse throughout this whole project. So if you don't have one of these sanders, it is well worth the $200 to buy one. A brown piece of paper traced the front face profile of the slats and here I'm just cutting it out. Uh, I'm finding I'm really liking to have this brown paper in my shop. Uh, I'm going to continue using it throughout various projects and, and glue ups. It's really been uh, kind of nice to have it. So you can see what I'm going for here. There's that brown piece of paper I just cut out, making sure it matches the profile, and marking the final length of that stick. I'll take that and transfer the uh, profile out on the front face of these spindles that I just cut out. camera and cut that and sanded it and I'm going to use that to trace the rest of them. Now on the top and bottom part of this slat I left long because they are uh, tinted in into the seat and the upper supports. So I left them a little long so I can fit them when I get the rest of the chair put together. And I'll have to uh, figure out a way to make those round because those are round tenons. So I'll have to figure out a way to make the top and bottom of these slats round. I thought about like a large pencil sharpener, but I don't know if I could find one that big. I left about uh, probably an inch and a half on top and bottom, so I got plenty of room to mess up, which I'm sure I will. And there's all four of them sanded. You can see, pretty spot on match. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you swinging by and sticking with me throughout this rocking chair build. Uh, please hit the like and share button. I'd really appreciate that. And as always, I'll see you next time.